welcome back for another video. I know it has been so long. So here we are. We've got some stuff to do with the Cummins, as you saw from the title. Um, something happened with the Subaru yesterday. It broke down and we don't have Kyler's new manifold in yet, but he did get a new turbo finally. You probably didn't know because we didn't film, but his turbo blew a few months ago. So he made an adapter. So the 12 valve manifolds are a T3 to come factory. The turbo that I got ended up being a T4. So I upgraded to a lot larger of an exhaust size um, just for the base. We're gonna be running a 0.83 T4 364-68. So I had to make an adapter plate today at work to adapt the T4 turbo to the T3 manifold. So we're gonna yep. see if we can get it installed. And if I have to run out at any point, it's because I gotta take care of our baby, so. Yep. All right, let's do this. All right, so Kim had to go inside real quick. To start off, we're gonna drop the downpipe because we got a new downpipe with the HX40 flange. Then we're gonna get the intercooler pipe off and get any oil cleaned out of it. Make sure there's no oil in the intercooler or anything like that. Just do general cleaning, make sure everything's good to go for the new turbo so it's not gonna damage it. And then, after that, we'll probably go ahead and get the adapter flange on, try to get that fitted. Soon as we can get it on, we're pretty much smooth sailing, turbo's in, and we're ready to drive. But I thought I should let you guys know what's done to the truck for those of you that are new to the channel. So I have a 97 12 valve extended cab with a auto, the 47RE. So right now it has a um, DPC, fat input shaft, the Airmit 400 with a 1600 stall converter, um, pretty much all the internals needed to make it hold at least 650 horse, just, you know, billet strut, anchor, all that good stuff, full manual valve body, got a Muldoon switch shifter on it, uh, fuel water separator, it's got the prime lock system that has been discontinued. The truck has 5x18 injectors, which equals out to about 250 horse overs. It is gonna get eventually a Steed Speed T4 manifold. It's on order, not here yet. The new turbo we're installing today is an SXE 364 and a half, 68.83 T4 divided manifold, or divided housing. Um, stock pump for the most part. I mean, I got four Ks done to it, zero plate, just the simple basic stuff. All right, so Kyler's taking the downpipe off. And Cody's gonna go ahead and take the intercooler piping out. Do you want me to take the closer to the intercooler side boot off or the closer to the turbo off? Turbo. Why don't I use my pit? Yeah, we got a pit, yo. Like, it's pretty I ghetto, but that's a pit. a pit. Why am I not in it right now? Because there's probably spiders in it. Yeah, it's probably nasty as shit. I haven't cleaned it out since we bought the house. Yeah. There's probably I... a body in it. <laughs> I wouldn't be crawling in there. Yeah, get that downpipe out of there. Oh, how low with the hell just fell? Uh, a clamp for the exhaust. Yeah, I know. All right, let's Here show people. All right, here's the new one. The big boy with no pew 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 belt. Yeah. All right, look at that positioning. It's totally different. My position. I don't think yours. I might need an extension. All right, so Cody's down yonder. I'm up here, I guess for now. I'm on the south side. Yeah. I gotta get this after flange. All right, so today at work, I had to take a couple hours off and make this. It is what it is, whatever. Uh -huh. And I didn't have time to order one offline. That would be 10 times easier and 10 times better. And uh, whatever, who cares? What's the point of doing that? That cost me. I don't like this one. So I made this get a piece of crap. Hey, it's better than nothing. Be happy. 
messed up porting. I messed up the blending on the ports. And the hair in my there. Up there was already there from a bolt that went through the plate. But, <clears throat> so I gotta drill these out a little bit more. Go on to that. No. <laughs> the I'm gonna get more weight on it. It's nice and slow. Which actually cleaned up good. Very simple. They can So that side goes on just fine. The other side's a little bit off, so I can't get the whole plate assembly on in total. And we're still trying to figure out how we're gonna mount this thing up. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So next I'm just gonna go ahead and probably elongate that hole just in a little bit to match up with these bottom holes a little bit better. Give her a little oomph. A little oomph. She'd go on with a little oomph too. But then it's gonna be the little oomph to get it off. At that point, I'd just say screw it and be like, well. Oh. Hey, at this point, we're about to weld the fing thing on order. I'm just waiting on it, so whatever. Yeah, it doesn't want to go on as easy as I thought it would. Goodbye. Okay. Well, I know what it wants now. Progress seems to be getting drunk tonight. <laughs> Halfway. All right, so that hole and then the hole back there that's covered up are like halfway done. So I don't really have the right tools for this, so what I'm using <laughs> is one of these really cheap step bits. So I'll go, I don't know, five, 10, maybe even 15 seconds with that, just wiggling it back and forth. And then I come back in with this step bit that I cut and squared the end off on. And that gives me that perfect squared off counter bore in the adapter plate. So then our, our bolts can have a good solid squared off face to seat against, so. All right, I'm going to keep doing this and I'll let you guys know when it's done and we'll get installed on the truck. trying to get the bolt head down to a half an inch. It is very, very close. Because I seem to have lost one of my very nice bolts and I am mad at myself, so now I have to make a ghetto homemade bolt. Is that your bolt? Yeah, that's the one I made. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so I made that ghetto bolt in place of the fancy hardware that I can't find. <laughs> if I find it, I'll replace this one. Yeah, whatever. This will work though for now. And then I'll mount the turbo up there. Get all the oil drain and feed ran. And I have to go inside for our baby, so we'll catch back up with you guys when I can come back outside. I might have the turbo on by then. Yeah. I never had anticipated how hard it would be to film all of this stuff with the baby. I'm filming. All right, so we got the bolts torqued down. We put nuts on the back of them um, and got those really, really tight and then ground the heads off to where it was flush with the plate. Now we're just making sure that the threads are still good after grinding on the plate a little bit. And then we're gonna get the turbo on. All 
Okay, sorry for the lack of updates. It is the next day. So we got the turbo on, obviously. That went pretty smooth last night. Uh, Airbox is on. Downpipe we just got on. Just had to go get a new exhaust clamp. Gonna connect the other end of the downpipe here in a minute. And then we will start it and let you guys hear. Giggling like a little schoolgirl. Yeah. Or 2,500. Well, just that one machining mod, just the machining to get that done was $250. Really? Yeah. Oh, what was it? It's a T51R mod. So back in the day, um, there used to be a company that made a specific line of turbochargers, the T51R line, I think it was. I don't know for sure about all this, but I think that's what it is. Um, and so now a couple companies will offer the T51R mod to make a modern turbo sound exactly like those old T51R, uh, that line of turbos. So it's been about a month since I installed the turbo. After about a week or so, I did install the turbo blanket. I noticed a little bit of a better spool up, but really not much at all. Not sure if it was worth the money, is what it is. So I ended up getting my steed speed the other day. We'll install that here this weekend or next weekend, and we'll end up doing a video on that as well. The turbo definitely, definitely has an insane amount more power. It is a lot of fun to drive, but that T51R cover, holy cow, it is way too loud to daily drive in my truck at least. So I'll probably end up getting a different cover at some point. Once we get studs, we'll put some delivery valves and a lift pump in it. Otherwise, I think the truck's probably gonna stay the way it is right now for quite a while, just because it's got plenty of power for what I need right now, just daily driving the truck. Eventually, we'll go compounds, just not anytime soon. I'm excited to install the Steed Speed, so in a week or so we'll probably get a video uploaded of installing that. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment if you enjoyed this or have any questions or comments. Hit that bell to stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching through the end of the video, and have a great night.